Hello. How are we doing? So, I've been out and about um, over the weeks, just trying to get out, a bit of exercise. But on my little exercise things, I like to light fires. Uh, not, uh, not in an arson way, you know, to like boil the Kelly kettle, have a cup of tea. Um, or whilst be, being, you know, like, I don't know, five miles away from another human. So I'm pretty sure they're safe and I'm safe. And I've been using the flint and steel and not really succeeding particularly. I've had things like, um, what have I tried to light? Um, Alfred's cake, you know, like that you find in the woods. And that, God, I did get it lit a few times. And I thought, hmm, I know. So I'm just going to try something now. Using, so I'm not using any lighters. Although I have had to on many occasions. Because I've just failed to find something that, that sparkled. I know there are, it's, I can't use cotton wool. People say, oh, use that. I can't touch cotton wool. It's not, not happening. So... Using a little trick I learnt in prison and using something that we nowadays have on us pretty much every day, a little bit of uh, hand sanitizer. So, in theory, I've seen this done slightly differently with two wires and some shower gel and they make a spark with the wires and it lands on the shower gel and they've got a flame dodgy so a little bit of um, hand sanitizer on my bit of wood get my flint and steel should be able to kind of see that I've no idea if this is going to work but Come on, you bastard! Oh. I know. I think my flint and steels, the thing's so short, someone snapped it that I'm hurting myself. So, maybe I'll just test out my new toy. Ooh. Ready, steady. And there we have it. Fire, fire, we got a bonfire in the living room. So, yeah, with a better flint and steel, I think that that is definitely going to work. And a bit more practice from me. Thank you, and goodbye.